welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. If you follow me on Snapchat, then you kind of know what's been going on with me. But earlier this week, I had a car accident. Somebody actually rear-ended me, and it just kind of totally <laughs> threw my week off. I was supposed to do videos earlier this week, but that did not happen. Um, I didn't get seriously hurt. I just got whiplash, and I have been on bed rest for the past two days. So today is the first day that I've actually been like up and moving around and everything so I decided to go ahead and get some videos up for you guys so the video that we're gonna do today it's going to be a collective haul I kind of wanted to do a favorites video but then I didn't really have anything that I have been using that was a new favorite everything that I pretty much have been using I talked about in my last favorites video so I didn't buy a lot of stuff recently but I did get some good things from my ipsy bag that I did not get a chance to upload that video so a couple of things from ipsy a lot of drugstore stuff and then some stuff from Ulta as well so if you are interested in seeing everything that I got in my collective haul then just keep on watching so the first thing that I want to talk about, I got a bunch of new pencils. Um, one is from, actually two are from my Ipsy bag and then the others are from CVS. So I will start with the Ipsy stuff first. So this is like a throwback. This came in like an Ipsy bag several months back and I got it kind of put it up was like mm, never really gonna use it and then I decided to bust it out today and it's a really nice color it's actually what I'm wearing um as my lower lash line pop of color this is actually a eyeshadow pen by star looks and it looks like that and this is the star looks pencil in ultra olive and this is kind of the color but i will go ahead and swatch it so you can see what it actually looks like so it's a very pretty olive green color which i never would have leaned toward this as a color that i would use definitely on my lower lash line but it's really really pretty i like it because it's a good alternative to wearing like your standard brown or your standard black and i kind of smudged it in and that made it look a little bit more smoky so i'm definitely looking forward to using this in the fall it's a really really nice color and i like how creamy it is it goes on really smooth and creamy and you really don't have to work too hard to get the product to show up so yeah that's really good the next thing that I got my ipsy bag I believe the last ipsy bag that I got and it is the Lord and Barry nude lip liner pencil it looks like that and it's just a basic nude pencil and this is the color swatch right there and I really like it I mean I wear a lot of nude lipsticks so you know it's really good it's really creamy as well as you can see it's very pigmented and I really like it so I've definitely be digging that okay so I have four lip liners by Milani and I got these all from CVS so I will go ahead and swatch these for you so the first one I have these are all the Milani color statement lip liners and this one is in shade number 12 Bordeaux 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 I don't know how you say it B-O-R-D-E-A-U-X Bordeaux Bordeaux I don't know but it's just a very pretty like plumish red color and I will swatch it and that is what Bordeaux Bordeaux whatever looks like so it's just a very pretty plumish red definitely a fall color it looks gonna be really good for fall and I have this one right here that I actually have not even gotten a chance to use yet because I have like two other nude lip liners but I will go ahead and open this up and swatch it for you. This one is called, this is shade number four and this is all natural. And I will swatch all natural for you. So this is what all natural looks like. So it's just your basic brown, a little bit lighter than um, the Lord and Berry one that I showed you earlier. But, you know, just a very good nude brown. I mean, you can never have too many of those, right? 
And then I got this other um, Milani pencil in shade number 13, Pretty Pink. Looks like that. And I will swatch Pretty Pink. So that is what Pretty Pink looks like right there. And the last one that I have is, you guessed it, another nude. And this one is called Spice. So I will swatch Spice. So I swatched it on top of the other nude one, All Natural. So this is All Natural up here and this is Spice. So it's just a little bit darker. But like I said, I'm obsessed with nude lipsticks. So I run through those so quickly. You can never have too many of them as far as I'm concerned. So those are the eye pencils and lip pencils that I got recently. So I got a couple more things from... CVS and Ipsy that I wanted to show you. This I got from Ipsy. This is the Doll Tin Hydrogel Cream Blush in Flirt. So this is what the packaging looks like. It does have a small little mirror. And then this is what this looks like. So it is a cream blush, just a typical kind of almost like a reddish pink color. And this is what it looks like swatched right there so it's very pigmented it shows up really really well and just gives a nice flush to the cheeks what I've been doing with this it's a little red for me just you know to use by itself so what I've been doing is just kind of layering this underneath a powder blush just to make it stand out a little bit more because sometimes when you wear blush it tends to fade throughout the day so this is really good for that if you're a darker skin tone then you could probably just wear this on its own because it's definitely more flattering I think for darker skin tones but yeah that came in my ipsy bag so I've really been enjoying that and then I have a couple more things from CVS to show you. I've really been digging the Disney collection that they've launched. They have the brushes, they have makeup products, they have makeup bags, they have a lot of different kind of Disney themed things with the different Disney princesses and everything. And I've actually been thinking about doing a kind of collection series on Disney princesses just doing the different looks that coincide with the different Disney princesses that they have so if you want to see you know a Disney princess tutorial where I do like a Belle look or Princess Jasmine or Taina definitely let me know and I can get that up for you guys but what I got um I got the Belle some of the Belle series. I don't know if this is all of the Belle products, but these were the two that my CVS had. And the first one I got is the Belle Face Palette that looks like that. This is by e.l.f. I think all of these Disney products are by e.l.f., but this is the Belle Face Palette. You open it up and you have a kind of stark white highlighter with kind of gold specks in it. And then you have a blush that's a definitely a peachy, peachy nude kind of blush with gold specks in it. And then you have this bronzer here that's pretty much a matte bronzer. Um, it has some gold specks in it, but you can't really see them. So I will go ahead and swatch those so you can see what it looks like. Now I will tell you off grip, I am not a fan of this highlighter because look how stark white this is. Like, I don't know what skin tone this would be flattering on because I'm super light and it just doesn't look good on me. It's definitely not woman of color friendly so I don't know but this is the highlighter so as you can see it's very very white so I don't use the highlighter I mainly just use the blush color and the bronzer the blush color is so so pretty this is what it looks like and this is what it looks like on swatch it again because it's not really showing up but yeah it's very very light so if you just want kind of like a flesh tone very neutral blush it's really good for that and when you put it on you really can't even see the gold specks in it so it's really not that sparkly as what you would think and then the bronzer I love so this is what the bronzer looks like and this is what it looks like swatch this is perfect for contouring because it does go on a little bit 
dark for me if you're you know more tan then it would probably be the perfect like bronzer for you but I've been using it for contouring because it is a tad bit dark when I put it on but it's so so gorgeous and for this to be a drugstore palette this was bomb like I really really was impressed with this face palette so I've really been enjoying that and then I also got the Belle Elf eyeshadow palette looks like that and this is what it looks like so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine colors definitely warmer toned you have your black color you have brown you have um a couple like peachy pinks you have this looks orange but it's really like a kind of burnt gold you have another brown color you have kind of like a hunter green color and then a gray color I actually use this palette to do my eyeshadow today if you guys can see that um basically I used this shade here as a transition shade I kind of mix these two shades together and then I use this color in my crease and then I use this in the outer corner so as you can see it looks really good the pigmentation is really really great I'll swatch a few of these colors so you can see what they look like. So this is just a few of the colors in the palette and I'll go ahead and swatch them on my arm so you can see them so as you can see it's very very pigmented this palette was not expensive at all I want to say this was maybe five or six bucks and then I think this was like three dollars or something like that I'm not sure of the exact prices of this palette I can link everything below but yeah these were very very affordable and I really really like these two products so definitely digging those and then I tried out the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. I will do a full tutorial and review on this because I really, really like this foundation. The coverage is pretty good. It's, you know, light to medium coverage. I really, really like it though. So I will do a review on that. And then I also got the Milani Baked Bronzer in shade number four, Glow. And it looks like that swatched you would think this would be like a highlighter but you can actually use it as a bronzer and it's not like super super you know shimmery so this is what it looks like swatched and then this is what it looks like so as you can see it's just so so pretty I love that so that's all the drugstore stuff that I have. So let's go ahead and get into the stuff that I got from Ulta today. The stuff I've tried out and some of it I haven't. So this is the NYX HD Concealer, which I've been hearing a lot of buzz about this on YouTube. So I was like, yeah, I have to try it. So it comes in just your traditional wands kind of applicator. I really, really like how smooth and creamy this is. I like how it applies. However, I think I got just a tad bit too light. I got the lightest shade well, the second to the lightest shade that they have, this one is Fair. They have Porcelain, which is the lightest shade, then Fair, then it goes to Light, and then I think Light Medium. I think I must need the Light shade. I tried to get a shade lighter because I'm going to use this just for highlighting, like my, for my under eye and kind of face highlighting. So I wanted to go a little bit lighter. But when I first applied this, like I looked casket ready, like seriously, like this was so, so just stark white on me and I was like oh no so I was able to kind of apply some bronzer which I would never suggest that you do but all I could do was just apply bronzer underneath my eye and that just made me look a little bit more flesh toned so I kind of made it work for today but yeah I'm gonna be going back and returning this and getting the next shade up the light shade and hopefully that works out for me but I really do like this concealer I think it's really really good I just got the wrong shade so the next thing that I have in here is the Ulta brand Glitter Eye Top Coat and this is basically a pressed pigment glitter um, and you're supposed to wear this as a top coat over your eyeshadow if you just want to add a little bit of sparkle to your look 
And the color that I got is this very pretty purple color called Glam Rock. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the eyeshadow looks like. It is so, so pretty. I've never tried any Ulta brand products, believe it or not. So yeah, um, I was excited to try this. So I will go ahead and swatch that for you guys so you can see how that so looks. This is what it looks like. Very, very pigmented as you can see. And this is what it looks like swatch. So it's very, very pigmented. And this was really inexpensive. It was like $8 at Ulta. But I, I mean, seriously, you could wear this alone as a glittery eyeshadow. It's so, so pretty. So I cannot wait to play with that. The next thing that I got is by It Cosmetics. And this is the It Tightline Full Lash Length Primer. Looks like that. This is basically a mascara primer and what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to separate and lengthen your lashes and basically do the tight lining for you so you don't have to go in and tight line. I really didn't see a huge difference with my upper lashes with tight lining. I used it today. Um, it is really good if your lashes, you know, are kind of clumpy and stick together because it does separate them. But what I love is bottom lashes. I have like no bottom lashes like they're so short and as you can see my bottom lashes are separated they're thin they're thick um they just look so so like plumped up and just juicy and just gorgeous I love this mascara it has a super super skinny wand as you can see that is perfect for just getting in there and separating your lashes I'm obsessed like I love 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 this it was a little pricey for a mascara I think it was like 22 or 24 bucks but I'm telling you it is so worth it you need this in your life like you need it the next thing that I got is a repurchase it is the it cosmetics your skin but better cc color correcting um cc cream foundation and i did a full review on this a while back so you can definitely check that out i am in the shade medium so I just got another sample size because the foundation is pretty expensive. It's like 30 or 40 bucks for full size. And they had the little sample sizes up front for 10 bucks. So, you know, I had to get the 10 buck one. But I mean, this stuff is really, really awesome. I got it more so because I wanted a summer foundation. But the coverage on this is really good. I mean, you could wear this all year round. And it's just gives you such great coverage and it just makes your skin look so super smooth and it's just great. I mean, I love it. So this is just going to kind of be my go-to CC cream during the week where I don't want to like really wear that heavy foundation and I just want to kind of grab and go. Perfect for that. So I am so, so excited to be using that. The next thing that I got, I got a couple more products from NYX. products from NYX so I did not know and if they've been making them I'm late but I have never seen NYX pigments before and when I saw them I was like okay I've been obsessed with the pigments for MAC so these were like I think like five bucks so I was like yeah five bucks even the MAC to go ones are ten dollars so if I like these these are a lot cheaper than MAC so I may need these in my life so I got two of them and this is what they look like so they're a lot smaller than the MAC pressed pigment a lot smaller than the MAC to go one so this is the MAC to go one and this is the NYX one so as you can see it is smaller the MAC ones just for reference these are 0.09 US ounces and these are 0.110 so actually they're packaged differently but you actually get a little bit more product in this one than you do the mac one so you get a little more bang for your buck which is always great so i got two colors this first color that i caught that i got is called jade pearl so i will open this up and swatch it for you open it, it does have a little small spout there for you to swatch 
Well, you really can't dig your brush in here. That's the only thing. But this color is called, ooh, this is so pretty. This is called Jade and Jade Pearl. So it's very, very shimmery. And the pigmentation is bomb. Like what? Now I'm gonna have to go back and buy like all of them because I mean, seriously, seriously, look at that. Like, ah, oh, so pretty. I cannot wait to use this. I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but I need to figure out a way to use it because it's so sparkly. It's so pretty. Okay. Having a moment, but yeah, that is so pretty. So the next one that I got is called Turquoise. So I will swatch Turquoise so you can see what Turquoise looks like. Turquoise, so it's just a very pretty bluish color. We'll swatch a little bit more because this is really not showing up. Okay. So this is what turquoise looks like. So it's just a very true to color, shimmery, bluish green, almost like an aqua color, but it's so, so pretty. So I'm definitely looking forward to using those two. Oh, so glad. Okay. And I do have another Ulta brand um, glitter top coat. And this one is called Gold Digger. She's saying she a gold digger. She ain't messing with no broke, broke. Just very pretty yellowish gold glitter that I mean literally you could put this over pretty much any eyeshadow you could put it over a neutral over a pink over pretty much any color this is like that one standard glitter color that I feel like everybody needs to have in their collection because it just literally goes with anything so I will open this up so you can see what that looks like. So this is what the eyeshadow looks like. And I will swatch so you can see what that looks like. So this is what it looks like swatched in my hands. And then this is what it looks like swatched on the skin. It's right there. So it's just a very pretty metallic gold color that, like I said, will go perfect with any eyeshadow that you already have in your collection. Just um, to put as glitter on top of it to make it more shimmery. So I really, really like that. And this last purchase, I was really on the fence about getting this because I was like, I tried this once before and I really didn't. It was, it just didn't really work out for me. So I was kind of like, should I try this again? Should I not? But it is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And this is a brow product. It's basically a, this is what it looks like. So it's just a pomade for your brows. And I got the color Auburn. And I did use it to do my brows today. And I have very thin, sparse brows, as you guys know. And this is perfect for just kind of filling in the sparse areas. The first time I got this, I used it all over to fill in my brows. Huge mistake. Don't do that. Like, some people do it and it looks really good when they do it. But for me... It just looked a hot mess and even though I used a teeniest amount, it still just looked a hot mess and I was like, no. So what I did today was I just took my regular MAC brow pencil and I just kind of outlined my brows and, you know, just kind of filled it in with the pencil first and then I just took a little bit of this and went in to definitely like the tail um, and just used it to make it a little more full and sharp. So I really like this and if you guys want to see an updated brow tutorial where I use this right here, then let me know. But yeah. That is everything that I've gotten recently from CVS, Ipsy, and Ulta. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely like this video if you did. Comment below. Let me know what types of videos you would like to see in the future. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you very, very soon in the next video. Bye!